Today I'm going to show you three ways to add these top and bottom black bars to your videos right after this. Hi, my name is Omar Ortiz, and if you're new to my channel, I make photo editing and video editing tips and tricks, and occasional camera gear and tech reviews. So if this is your type of content, consider subscribing. Now I know, I know, you've already watched a lot of videos about how to add cinematic black bars, but nobody has compiled the three ways to do it, right? Right? And you might be asking, why do you need to add those black bars? Some say it will make your videos look cinematic. Because when you watch a movie in the theater, you would normally see those bars. Kinda like a widescreen effect. Well basically, there are no actual bars on the actual video. It's mainly because of the video's aspect ratio, which is 2.35 by 1 or 21 by 9. So today I'll be showing you the three ways on how to do it. Okay, so let's start with the easiest one. Go search and download PNG Cinematic Block Bars on Google. Then import it on your project. And I know that you don't want to do that, so I'll post a link on the description on where you can download one to save you some time. You're welcome! Okay, so all you have to do is drag this PNG file on top of your clip and that's it. One disadvantage of this technique is that the black bars are baked in your video. And chances are that if you have a slow internet connection, or the video is buffering, you will see the bars get pixelated because of the low resolution. So in short, I don't recommend this process. Okay, let's proceed with the second technique, which is adding the crop effect. Create an adjustment layer, then drag it on top of your clip. Then go to effects panel, search for crop, then drag it to the adjustment layer. Then go to effects controls panel, and apply an 11% crop on top and bottom. That's it! Pretty simple, huh? One advantage of this technique is that if you have multiple clips and you just want to add them on certain clips, you can do so. So take note of that. And for the last technique, you just need to go to Sequence, Sequence Settings, and change the vertical frame size. For a 4K footage, set it to 1634. And for 1080p, set the vertical frame size to 822. That's it! No sweat, right? There are other aspect ratios besides 16x9 and 21x9, so if you want to check out other aspect ratios, I'll post a cheat sheet on the description below. And because you stayed all the way to the end of my video, I'll give you a bonus tip. When you export your video after you've finalized your edit, just go down here to the basic video settings, uncheck the box right here, and set it accordingly. For 4K, it is 38 by 40 by 1634. Make sure that source scaling is set to scale to fill. And for 1080p, it is 1920 by 822. That's all for today's Premiere Pro tip. I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.